Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to While Learn, or While True Learn. Uh, this one, released January 17th, 2019, developed and published by Luden.io. You're a machine learning specialist who makes neural networks, but your cat seems to be better at it. Now you must solve puzzles to build a cat-to-human translation system. Who knows what else this cat is capable of? Earn a fortune by kick-ass outfits. Uh kick-ass cat outfits, oh, excuse me, and learn how machine learning really works, tagged as programming, simulation, education, and puzzle, and the uh, promotional materials here on Steam uh, do indeed market this as an educational game. It's got all kinds of learn this and learn that all over the place. So, your latest save game was stored locally, and Steam Cloud is now available. Would you like to upload local... S I don't have a local save game. This is the first time I'm running it. Um, anyway, would you like to... Sure. Okay. Uh, new game, yeah. Tutorial, yes. I'm definitely going to need that. So, um, normally, um, academically, I'm a computer criminologist. I teach uh, cybersecurity. I have... Um, Quite a number of years in cybersecurity as a working professional, various different capacities. Uh, machine learning and data analytics is not necessarily my bailiwick, um, but uh, we do use those topics, of course, in cybersecurity. A lot of security appliances these days work off of various data analytical and machine learning principles, so these are things that do come up in my classes. So if this is a good primer for machine learning, it would be quite useful to me. To become a programmer, you must master your art of turning the computer on. That is a good first step. Press and hold the flashing triangle and drag to connect the power outlet with your PC screen and keyboard. When it's done, press the power button that will appear in the upper right part of the screen. Hence, congratulations, you're almost a programmer now. So click, drag, all right, and uh, to the monitor, I don't know why or wiring power to a keyboard, but that should do it. Time to cross your fingers, turn the power on. Um, it said power, but you know, obviously we're just making a connection here. The power, it flows. We have the Windows XP background computer is on. One more step to one. That is the step. That is the first one. Turn the equipment on. And we program burning the midnight oil, the candle at both ends. This brief time in our lives being spent debugging applications, drinking far too much caffeine, ensuring we die an even swifter death until our cat comes to save the day. Indeed, build successful the feline brain at work. I am amazed. Meow. Hey, what did you do? Did you do that? Holy zeros. Oh my god. I've taken that right out of my diary. Holy zeros. If only I could understand what this cat has to say. Meow. I guess we'll have to find a way to recognize your speech. Goal. Cat speech recognition to-do list. Google it on cat overflow. Okay. Uh, sure. How to recognize animal speech. Hey everyone, can you believe my cat, that little devil, has debugged my code again? He definitely has something to say, so I decided to make some sort of uh, system, algorithm, which would help. Uh, first of all, if you're not even sure what you're building here, that's not really a great start. Which, uh, which would help me understand him. Give me advice, wish me luck maybe. I'm not insane, my mom had me tested. <laughs> uh... Don't rush ahead of yourself. Making a device that would be able to detect the cat would be a nice start. You can work with video, sounds, etc. when the time is right. I mean, uh, that's uh, not bad advice there, Dr. Coder, I suppose. I mean, it's, it's a silly premise, right? But I mean, uh, let's look at this from the perspective of, of an educational game. Um, even at a university level, even at a graduate level, um, many of my students do struggle with essentially applying the scientific method to solve problems. Problems. This isn't, I'm not at all denigrating students. Um, this is a skill. Uh, you, might even, you might even say it's a talent, but it is something that can be learned. 
things. Just like learning an instrument, some people are just preternaturally disposed to just picking up that instrument and, and intuiting uh, how it works and how to you know how to get it to make a sweet sound. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean that if you don't have that talent, you can't work hard to learn how to play that instrument. Then again, there there is an upper limit of human potential, and some simply will will reach it, and some won't, and some are capable of more things than others. But that's not really what we're talking about here. Um, essentially, what I'm what I'm saying is that a game that begins even with a silly premise like this, um, with essentially establishing the steps to demarcate the problem, break it down into uh, more easily solvable, smaller challenges, uh, acting as milestones on the way to, to a greater goal, uh, applying the scientific method in order to test hypothesis. Um, that would be something I would be interested in doing, even if it's something that's kind of silly. And sure, why not? If we want to start with something silly and we want to build something big, we want to recognize animal speech, then breaking it down into a smaller goal of just, well, can we first get it can we get something to recognize an animal uh, is not necessarily a bad place to start it doesn't necessarily get us where we want to be but it does get us something and that is a good way to start right the first step is always the hardest um, hey, a couple of days ago, I've been reading about how expert system can be applied for detecting animals and writing chatbots the newspaper was called Deep News. I'll be sending you my copies once I'm done with them. Well, this is a this is an extremely helpful online forum. No one has told him to go get fucked yet. This is amazing. No one's called him an idiot for even asking the question. I, I truly... Uh, anyway, welcome to your workspace. This is where programming magic and bugs, mostly bugs, is born. To begin, drag an expert system node from the list on the right expert system to the node. Drag the connection line from the starting node to the left to the expert system node on the right. If you want to delete connection, place your mouse over the line and press the right mouse button. So, connect, delete, and connect. Connect, connect. Click test run to check if the scheme works properly. I actually didn't see what we were testing because, or what we were connecting because I was too busy making the flashing stop. All right, so we have input from the camera which is going into this expert system. So this is some kind of magic black box we are unaware of, and it is sorting photos that it detects a cat and photos that it does not detect a cat. Very well. I will accept this. <sighs> we are out of inputs. They are going into our evaluation. Run complete success. Final result. I get a gold star. I love games that give me gold stars. I need that dopamine. I, I need that constant reassurance that I am a good boy. Uh, hi again. I tried that expert system and it hardly makes any sense. What? It made perfect sense. Squares are floating from left to right. Is that what all the fuss is about? Machine learning? Is that what the fuss is all about? Okay, I'm sorry. Luden I.O. Um, about. Luden.io is an educational game developer. Let's check your site here. Uh, yes. Uh, Luna.io was started as an R&D group at Nival Developers. Oh, Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Well, um, about, oh, this is, this is what you're giving me for about. Okay. They have many titles. Um... Okay. Looking for a community manager. Okay, that's not going to get me what I want. I'm going to assume that Ludenio is uh, an international game developer. Um, I, I just, I just always check that. It doesn't really matter. I can still enjoy a game. Obviously, uh, it's not an, an issue. Uh, it's just that whenever I see syntax and grammar errors, I always have to check and see. Um, if it's an English as a second language or a translation issue, in which case, you know, fair enough, you know, I, I'm not going to cast aspersions on other people. English is a very difficult language, and I, I hardly speak anything else myself, so, uh, but on the other hand, if they are a U.S. developer and this got these kinds of issues, then it's, it's kind of a problem, especially if it's going to be built as an educational game. It should be comprehensible. I don't know why I just physically did air quotes around the word comprehensible, but I did. And if I hadn't said anything, you wouldn't know, but I did. And so now you do. 
This is called visual programming, my fellow dude. Yes, this is how it's supposed to work. The expert system analyzes your data input from the camera and checks if there's a cat on them. No, it's not what machine learning is about. It will get hardcore soon enough. Hellraiser. Uh, being very helpful. Again, the fact that no one has called him an idiot is... Uh, proof that this is a fictional internet. Well, I'm not very good at it yet, apparently. When I when do I actually start building a cat translator? Player. I mean, me. Be patient. We must crawl before we can walk. Don't rush it, friend. You gotta master your machine learning ninja skills first. I'm working as a freelancer and the amount of contracts is crazy. I'll forward you some jobs I don't have time for. We'll help you get on your feet and learn some Earn some cat bucks as well. Check your mail now. P.S. You're still waiting. You're still paying for servers, though. And see, a part of the grammar and syntax issues I'm having is the fact that I can't fucking read. Um, so, <laughs> probably not a good idea if you don't know what you're doing to start taking contracts and building shit, but, I mean, okay. Hey, player zero at cat.meow. Noob advice. There's an auto help for each new technology. Very convenient. I've turned it on for you now. Okay, Dr. Coder, how... Did you do that? And okay, no need to thank me, but you probably want to change your password. My cat talks one, two, three is pretty obvious. <laughs> I see, I see, that's how he did it. <laughs> Behold the task tree. Behold my task tree. This is the map of your prog progression in the game. Vertical progression stands for story quests, horizontal branches are optional. Icon colors stand for different types of machine learning texts used in respective tasks. Sounds pretty simple. Or so we hope. I hope so too. But I also can't click anything? Oh, this. Uh, errors in DB applicants expert systems. Gotcha. Spanish school at cat.meow. Applicants, good day. We're from a public school. Summer exams have ended. The results are attached to this letter. Could you process them and predict which of the students will be able to enter the MIT? Okay, sure. Why not? See these colorful geometric shapes? Colorful shapes and gold stars? Thank you. Thank you for appealing to the kindergartner in me. They represent various kinds of data, numbers, letters, elements of images. In a modern world, everything can be turned into data, and machine learning is all about sorting and interpreting data. Long story short, your goal in the game is to transfer data from the left part of the screen to the right. These bars show the minimum amount of data that needs to be processed to complete the task. So eight, the minimum amount of data. So eight data, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to need our expert system. Um, I'm not digging this so far. Uh, this visual programming stuff is great, and it's how some things these days are done. For example, game development is done using modular visual programming, and I don't have a problem with it as a learning tool. Absolutely not. Um, but... Uh, it's not at all useful, as you might surmise, for learning actual coding or anything. Um, and the name of the game is While True Learn, so I kind of expected some of that. But let's, we're, we're, these are early days. We are merely beginners, and this is the tutorial. So, anyway, I get to the idea. We have exam results here. These colors and shapes represent different types of data, so we need to have a green switch here. If it's green, then it comes in, and then it will go out. And if it's not green, then it goes over here. And since we only have green and blue, that's all we need to do. Green goes in, green comes out, blue goes in, blue comes out. We do this, we do that, we do the other, we do all this. Yep, mm -hmm, gotcha. Let's see. Process. Process. Do it, yeah. Assembly line style. Release the program to complete the task. Release the program. I just earned myself 308 cat books. Um, okay, and this is the task tree. We did... Oh, it's going up. Oh, that's weird. I expected it to go down. All right, we did applicants. Now we have errors in DB. Errors in database. Hello, we have some errors in our questionnaires. Data, we can't solve the problem by ourselves. Can you please fix it? I sure can, I bet. I mean, probably. I don't really know. 
but we are learning on the job. Your efficiency is measured not just in money, but with metals too. Metals influence your story progression while boosting your self-esteem at the same time. Not wrong about that. And I am in need of boosting. To get a medal, your scheme has to meet the respective time and nodes limit. You can improve your results later on. Okay. Trash can. In the game, this node destroys elements. Important detail, no matter how many trash cans you place, they will count for one node in the nodes limit. Oh, there's a nodes limit. In the real world, real data sets have a lot of errors. Filtering out errors is a very important skill for all data scientists. That is true. So uh, as I, I just a little while ago mentioned that machine learning isn't technically something that I do a lot of, and that's not really I mean, it is. I'm not a data scientist. I don't teach data analytics, but like I said, this comes up all the time. And actually, I am really familiar with these concepts and, and such because one of the things that I specialize in is digital forensics, in particular with multimedia evidence analysis. And among those skill sets, my research is in what's known as stylometry, which is the statistical analysis of textual data for the purpose of authorship attribution, which is just a fancy way of saying, I like to analyze text and figure out who wrote it. And that does require data analytics. So I actually do this all the time in terms of research. It's just not something that generally comes up in the field of cybersecurity and not something I really teach a lot of in class, unless, of course, I'm teaching stylometry, in which case um, I don't cover the basics of uh, data analytics or anything. I, actually, uh, one of the required courses for our curriculum is uh, an early data analytics course um, so that they can tackle on a rudimentary version of uh, some of the stuff that I do for research. Anyway, um, so we got a trash can. We need the green. We need the red. We need the 15 of those. Um, and we're going to need two of these, won't we? We surely, surely will. Because we're going to have a red switch. Uh, and if it's not a red, if it's red, um, how are we going to have to move this down here? All right. If it are red, then it can go right on through. If it are not red, then it come down here and we check to see if it are green. And if it are green, then it can go on through. And if it are not green, then it is blue and we don't want blue. We throw blue away and test run go. Blue goes in. Red goes in. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at this sucker cooking. Look at it. It's doing just exactly what I wanted it to do. I tell you, this belongs in a satisfying compilation. Compilation? Computation. Pretty sure that's the word I'm looking for. Throw them dirty blues away right in the trash can. There we go. Release the program. 394 cat bucks. It's almost like stealing. It's so easy. Hello, it's us again. We found some new types of errors made by our users. Oh, yeah, that's right. Errors. Yeah, that's why I started talking about stylometry and stuff. So, yeah, standardizing your, your data and stuff is, is critically important. Yeah, I mean, you can't analyze data if it's non-standardized. Um, you have to you have to convert data into a usable format. Um, anyway. Uh, we found some new types of errors made by our users. Please update your program. It would be easier if you use the previous version of the code, okay? So, can I... Deep news. Non-neural artificial intelligence. Mankind has always been trying to create an artificial intelligence before the invention of neural networks. People used expert systems. An expert system is a deterministic algorithm which produces decisions of a real... Uh, does not do that, but okay. Uh, an example of this is Eliza. The very first chatbot in the world was created in 1966 and talked with the patient using questions similar to real psychotherapists. It worked horribly. Hello, I'm Eliza. How are you today? What would you like to discuss? Hey, check this out. Custom nodes are special nodes containing your previously designed schemes. Press on the middle tab to switch to custom nodes list. So that's down here. Drag the custom codes, sorting the color red into the workspace. Yeah, okay. Oh, I should have kept reading that. I didn't, though. <laughs> um, there we go. There we go. We can we can just do that. What's this? Uh, okay, we saw that. Or wait, what? It worked. It's hard to use hard-coded comparisons with human experts. Decisions or okay. okay. 
Um, Alright, so if it's red, we want. If it's blue, it's down here. And that's it. Okay. Can I speed time? Yes, I can. Okay. Up to 3x, that's fine. Uh, edit scheme. Why? Hmm? Why? So, okay. What am I missing? Oh. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um... So, trash can. And so this was here. This is here. And this is here. So, apparently we can enter nodes to run individual tests, sounds like. Test individual components. Yep. Release the program. Damn, 822 cat bucks. Do I have enough to get any of those, um, you know, cat outfits or something? Cat speech recognition system, 13% recognizing cat on pictures. Okay. So it said uh, that this is the main story and these are optional. So I guess we'll go to decision trees. Hey, is there any way to detect the cat without using expert systems? It works for text, but with pictures, not so much. Furthermore, the cat just won't sit still. That it does not. Try decision trees, then. Those are like expert systems, but on steroids. Okay. Once you feel comfortable around them, try sift. This little devil is way more effective with pictures. It also works nicely when paired with other algorithms. Or you can use nails or glue or something. Come on, it's just a cat. It won't fight you back. i just kidding. Please don't use anything I mentioned on an actual cat. Different nodes have different processing rates. This parameter will influence efficiency of your schemes. Icons on the right indicate the amount of time required for a node to process one element of data. One second, yeah, I already saw that. In the game, this node compares output parameters, the sockets, with an element's color. If the element's color is equal to only one socket's color, the element moves to that socket. If an element's color satisfies both conditions or none of them, it goes to a random socket. It was what does what, huh? Oh, okay, I gotcha. Uh, in the real world, decision tree is one of the basic machine learning algorithms. Each tree knows a limited number of classes. For each element, the tree asks some questions and chooses the class most similar to the element. Oh, we have article and video. Learn how it works. Warning, maths, integrals, derivatives, and other scientific works inside. Well, thank you for the trigger warning. I do appreciate that. Tree-based algorithms complete... I actually... <laughs> actually know this article <laughs> um, yeah that's cool I mean linking to, to actual material let's see the video I gotta turn the audio off though sorry I don't I don't know who this is I've never seen this video before um pass failure yeah. Decision tree properties, calculating entropy. All right, I'm going to turn the audio on just for a little bit. Time and previous test score onto our target variable. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mazin Ahmed, for creating this content. Okay, uh, so decision tree color. Uh, input if is red to ya. If is um, all right, so we could actually do an any here. Should work. Nope. Nope, that's not what we wanted. We'll have to do a blue and then an, uh, no, we'll have to do, hey, too many nodes. Oh, where's my limit? Oh, here it is up here at the top. Up here at the top. All right. Get rid of that. Um, 
Well, if we do this, and then we're going to run into our issue here with greens, yeah, flying all over the place. Although I consider that a success, it probably shouldn't have. Oh, wait. Did I misunderstand the outputs that were required? Probably. Uh, Alright, but let's try one of these side quests here. Let's try optimization. Hey, it's us again. We hope it's our latest request for you. We've changed our database system. Can you update your code one last time? We need it to work faster. Faster even still to decrease and increase speed. Click a button. Uh, oh, we already did that. Yeah, we already did that. What happened? Oh, low accuracy. Gotcha. What am I... Hmm? What am I waiting for? I understand what it's asking me to do, I just don't understand why that didn't do what, uh, why that didn't work, because we met the requirements. Are there other requirements I'm not seeing? Sorry, excuse me. I don't know. The side quests just, they don't seem like all that different. I don't know. Did it say that, didn't it say something like that the side quests are good for like building out your um, like stats or something? Oh, I see that we got a timeline here on the side. Yeah, so we are going through we are going through machine learning concepts co-developed with computer systems so that's nice basic machine learning and almost machine learning so we're out of almost machine learning i know we got some more coming up here basic machine learning down here indeed indeed our company's manufacturing all organic painkillers they are used to decrease suffering mood improvement and coping with eating disorders known side effects including dilated pupils diarrhea to physical and mental addiction they are caused by the human factor uh, from time to time, our workers pick the wrong plants because they look like medicinal herbs. Um, we like you to design an algorithm that would sort herbs by petal colors. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Well then, we got something of a problem here. Then don't we? All right. So let's start with. Uh, decision tree color and input and if blue here if red here <coughs> um how much time are we gonna have 25 seconds what's this down here dll 
sandbox for schemes, create them, apply them, and experiment as you wish. You can use almost all kinds of nodes and as many inputs and outputs as you see on this screen. Keep in mind that you'll only have one slot for DLL nodes by default. Go to the shop to get more. Oh. Well, I see. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, and then... Well, let's run this and see what we end up with, because we got 36, 40, and I can't remember how many blues we started out with. All right, yeah. So that's fine. That's fine. Um, but what we need then is a separate system. And actually, I think that what we need is, no, that's not going to do it. I think we need, I think we're going to need a, an expert system here as well. Um, and then we can connect this up. And if it's, Mm, no, it's not going to get us what we need. I'm going to turn the music on. This music is distracting. How do I do this? Um, menu. There we go. Music volume. It's cute music. I, I like it and everything, but uh, distracting. Okay, so now. All right, let's see. Um, all right, if we do this, if we connect this up, let's hold on a sec here, let's walk through it one thing at a time. All right, so we have a red, we have a blue split. Blue, um, we only have one, we have two red inputs we need to split 19 and 15. Uh, that is 20, 34. We have 36 reds. Oh, wait, or is this supposed to be reds and greens combined? I'm not sure. Um, oops. Okay. Is there a... Box. Oh, I only got a silver on the errors and database. I thought I got gold. Private. History of expert systems. Well, that's a nice little addition. That's neat. I like that. Sea Bay. Does nothing. Has test V. Skyrim pre-install mandatory for purchase. Banhammer miniature. Entourage. Random forest isolation hardware. Okay, I have no idea what any of this is supposed to do, but there are some cat skins. Two flower the tourist. Cheshire. Only a few find the way, some don't. Are these free? <laughs> it purrs. Uh, <laughs> uh, glasses, wasteland helmet. That's cool. That's cool. Sneakers hunter. It's Geralt. Um, these appear to be free. Oh. Oh. I see. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let me guess, this will take me right back to the same. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not signing up for things. I don't like that. Um, so anyway, I'm getting distracted here. Um, tree. There, that's that. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, I'm avoiding the problem, really, I think. 
Okay. Well, we have 26 blue packets here to sort. We only need 16 or maybe 8. I, I don't know. Um, all right. What do we need to do? We're sorting red and blue. So if we, we're going to, we're definitely going to need it more than one decision tree. We, we definitely are. Um, so what I need is a, um, red, red and green come up. Okay, so then I can do a switch or I don't know. I the 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 visual programming aspect of the game is not really giving me a lot of insight into the randomization of decisions because it said uh that with the decision trees a color not assigned to a port is randomly sent out, but random could mean a lot of things. So I guess the best thing to do would simply be to test it. So let's see. We we have red coming up. So let's just work with red first. Okay, because we have two branches for red. So let's see when the red comes out what we end up with. Like for the split with just red. Oh. I don't understand why it's backing up here, though. Like, why, why is it doing that? Oh, because of throughput. We need to do something with the blue. So let's just... Uh, let's get rid of this for now. Let's just dump blue into trash so we can see this. Um, it's not even close to evenly random. Not even close. It did satisfy the requirements, though, so I think we're just simply on to something. I think if we just do this, and then we sort uh, any in blue? No. If we just did this. Yeah, it's not even close to evenly random. And that was just a bronze result. Which is successful, but we can do better. It's this last note. We need we need to sort red faster. And more evenly. Um if we can we select can we do this? Let's see what happens. It's treating it just as uh, about the same. Oh, no. There we go. That's a gold result. It treated it uh, slightly differently. Oh, what's overmind? I just got an achievement. Um, better than developer. What is that? It just says overmind better than developer. I don't know what that means. We beat their time, I guess. Okay. Occupancy, accuracy, occupancy. Okay, gotcha. Release the program. Okay. Um, error stack or complete a task with unlocked. It says error stack overflow. Complete a task with unlocked trash can without it. Oh, okay. I got you. We didn't use the trash can. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say. That was purely an educated guess more than anything else. So I feel, I guess, accomplished. How long have I been doing this? Long enough, I reckon. Okay. Um, so while true learn, um, I think it's fun. It's a fun puzzle game. I guess it seems to be doing an okay job of exploring. Blaine, hold on, we gotta before I before I pass a, a judgment here because I gotta keep in mind this is billing itself as an educational game. Um, yes, this is an educational game, um, but it's an educational game that I would probably put into in front of high schoolers. 
um, maybe junior high schoolers. Um, so like from the ages of 12 to 18 or so, I might use this in a rudimentary data analytics course, um, or something like that. It's definitely not going to teach you machine learning and it's certainly not going to teach you programming. Um, but it is a fun little puzzle game based around machine learning concepts. And so in that regard, uh, I got to say they succeeded, um, at least, you know, for what they were attempting to, it seems, uh, achieve. Um, let's see if it actually has information about what they expect. Uh, while true learn is a puzzle simulation game uh, about even more puzzling stuff, machine learning, neural networks, big, a big data and AI. Uh, most importantly, it is about understanding your cat. In this game, you play as a coder who accidentally found, okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's go. The game fits best for people who want to know more about how machine learning and related technologies work. Um, yes. If I didn't know anything about any of these concepts, I would say, go ahead, pick up this game, have a little fun with it, and it'll you know, teach you a couple of things. You know, just know that you're not actually doing any, you know, this isn't actually programming. Parents and teachers who are looking for a fun and easy way to make an intro to logical thinking, programming, and technologies for kids. Okay, so it says it's for kids. Yep, I would absolutely use this with kids to teach these basic concepts. I agree completely. Programmers who want to learn new concepts that they can apply to their own coding? Uh, not so much. No, not so much. If you're a programmer, um, this will be a f maybe a fun little puzzle game, but you're, you're not going to learn uh, what you need to learn with this. Those who want to play games and not feel guilty about wasting their time, although we believe you shouldn't feel guilty at all while playing games, well, you know, I agree with that. Luden.io, I agree with that completely. Um, it's your time. It's your life. You need to use it at least part of the time for things that you actually enjoy. Otherwise, what is the point of suffering on this mortal coil? Um, but that said, yeah, I would say if you if you want to play a game, but you also want to say, you know, I'm learning something, so I feel less guilty about it. Yeah, I love puzzle games like this for that very reason. I play puzzle games all the time. Um, and I say to myself, well, you know, it's important to keep mentally sharp and all that kind of stuff. You know, I, I, I do it myself as well. Players who like to keep their brains busy and working in different ways while still having fun. Uh, yeah, I didn't find any of the, the beginning puzzles to be really that difficult, but it is the tutorial. Um, and I do think that this is probably aimed more for kids than anything else. But, um, you know, yeah, it's a fun little puzzle game. It's definitely novel. I've never played a puzzle game like this before. Gamers looking to improve their problem-solving skills and feel an immense sense of satisfaction and achievement that comes along with it. Sure. People who like smart cats, definitely. Although I, I actually, you know what? I did just earn enough to buy that Viking helmet. Spend all of our money on a Viking helmet for a stupid cat. Okay, I take it back. It's awesome. Cosplay. And it meows. Okay. I take back anything bad I may have thought about the cat. Um, where was I? Uh, Ludendado has a couple of other games out here, Learning Factory and so on. I don't think I'm going to so see quite my bailiwick, but okay. Um, let's see what we got here for reviews. Uh, let's see. 1.3 hours on record. Nezoid. Okay, you seem a fairly average Steam user. This got the Superstar Award. I hate these fucking social media awards and shit. God, what the fuck is the point of even of any of this? It's just it's just more of the same shit. You get your gold star. Get your dopamine. Um, anyway, negative review. It's like something doesn't add up. Before anything, this is not a programming game. It's uh, not in the conventional sense. It is otherwise a fuzzy logic puzzle game, so prepare to be disappointed if you think you're going to learn some real programming concept from it. Yes, I agree, but it is a good place to start for, for complete beginners. It's also not a machine learning game either, not in an understandable sense, since everything you'll do is drag and drop built in machine learning called Node in this game uh, onto the screen and just wire them together to produce a desired output. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, data analytics is analytics. It does require logical thinking. You have to be able to, you can't just sit down, code, and be like problem solved. You have to map things out logically first. 
uh, but the matter of how these functions work are left as an exercise to the player. That's that's true. That is true. Uh, like many of these games, when I come in with, with pre-existing knowledge of the subjects, I often do find myself simply going, okay, yes, that's that. Yes, I understand that. Yes, I see what we're doing here. Um, but uh, if it is a game for rank amateurs, I, I do think that some additional description ought to be uh, offered. But that said, it was. Um, there was the uh, the links to actual journal articles and stuff. So that, I probably would say, is not something I would expect a junior high or high school student to follow through on. But, you know, there was also a link to a video, right? So um, there, I guess I guess there's Nezoid has a fair point there uh, in some respects. So the information is there, but the information that the game links you to is probably above the skill level of the person who would actually be enjoying, or the knowledge level of the person who would actually be enjoying the game. Uh, so some simplified wiki information uh, would be would be useful uh, in in addition to the blurb that they give you. So that's a fair point. Nizoy. That's a fair point. Um, math is an already hard subject. You don't have to make it scary, and it isn't your job in the first place to try teaching these concepts via the game you create. I. What an odd sentiment. Uh, no. Um, math is a hard subject. It is already something that is scary to people who don't understand it and if you're going to put the concept in the game it is your job to teach the concepts it's an educational game it's billed as an educational game and educational games try teaching these concepts that's what educational games do so you lost me uh, it's like you're starting, you start with a grand premise, learn how machine learning really works, but then fail to even show what's behind the curtain. Uh, again, that's getting back to that somewhat of a fair point. For comparison, it's like saying, learn to build a car, and then just give us a few simple Lego systems parts, consisting of wheels, plates, and a minifigure. Mm. Yeah, you contradict yourself. Because it's not like this. It's like this in the first 1.3 hours. Um, but as you mentioned, Legos can get more advanced. So you get your Lego Technic set, and then you can learn real-world engineering details. But guess what? You can't do this unless you first do this. So that's called scaffolding in the educational game. Um... Uh, you need to do the simple things before you get to the complex things. That's fine, that's fine. Real-world programmer blindingly implement machine learning with these ready-to-use tools in the same manner as this game anyway, right? Well, consider this. The game does not measure things around... Uh, the game does measure things around speed, not accuracy. Untrue. It actually measured on both. It was speed and accuracy. I failed a couple of times when I was testing uh, because my data was not accurate enough. So, um, furthermore, the level design does revolve around the concept of three star scoring. That is, build a machine that solves this level in 30 seconds to gain three stars. Blah, blah, blah. This, uh, my, is this how old is this? No, this is only September. This is only a couple of weeks ago. So, unless there was a major update, uh, that's not my experience at all. Uh, oh boy, how can it be more wrong about this? Okay, well, you know, fucking enlighten us, Nizoid. Nizod. Nizod. Uh, apparently, a player can buy upgrades to make their computer faster, so it's not dependent on the player's brain anymore in order to solve the puzzle efficiency. I, I, okay, I agree with that. I don't like buying upgrades to make things easier. Kind of defeats the purpose of an educational game, doesn't it? Second, uh, who the well... Who the well... I'm assuming, who the hell draws the line between how many stars we should get? A god? Uh, I'm confused. I'm intrigued, and I am inconsolable. Uh, the star system is so broken since it suggests one and only one thing. The developer already knows what's the best solution to tackle on a specific level, so they design the level. I mean, it's a game, so they're gamifying it, and at some point in a game, rules have to be established by someone. You can consider it a god, I guess, um, but somebody has to make rules in order for there to be a game rules are what gives games meaning so 
Okay. Um, look at take a look at Zektronics. They themselves you don't even know the most optimized ways to solve their own design puzzle. Their job is only just ensuring. Well, yeah, I don't I don't think this is the case. So you you can point to other games that do it correctly, and maybe there are some. Um, maybe there is something to be said um, about the impartiality of grading systems in games uh, because of course you can manipulate grading systems in order to reward the player more it's like you know vegas slots right you can have some slots pay out more and then you get more suckers in the seats and you end up making more money overall even though you're occasionally handing out the, the jackpot or something like that so there are ways to to rig gamified systems at the same time uh, rules at some point have to be established and the best way to ensure impartiality is with a a system of some kind that measures objective features like efficiency and accuracy and i think that that's what the game developers were going for here i'm not saying that it's a perfect system and these this might be correct in it's a a sale here of that system uh, but on the other hand you can't say that other games do it well um, simply because their objective metrics make more sense if this makes any sense at all what i'm saying right now what i'm getting at essentially is that they're different games there's different rules there's there's different outcomes and expectations and i don't think a star system necessarily means that the developers are looking for you to provide a certain solution because the developers they're controlling the time they're controlling the number of nodes that are available and I don't know how the RNG is working in this game because it doesn't seem completely random to me, but there's that as well. And those were the three main features here that go into the objective metrics of the star rating system. And they seem, at least on the surface level, um, to be fairly intuitive to me. Anyway, uh, sorry, Nizoid. I'm, I'm about with you 50%. I'm about with you 50%. Um, thanks for writing this wall of text. I'm not going to read the rest of it, um, but I'm also not going to say you're wrong either, because you're you're about you're I'm, I'm with you half fifty percent. Maybe maybe you're more right than that, but that's where I'm that's where I'm drawing the line here. Uh, nice game for learn programming. It's not uh, highly educational potentially. Uh, as someone with zero coding experience, I found this game very enjoyable. Um, this is the the purpose of the the visual programming um, tact uh, as well is. While it would be great, uh, as Nizoid says, to, to go ahead and throw people in to writing code, um, it's just not that easy. Uh, most people have no coding experience. And true, someone who might be attracted to this game as an educational game, they might have an interest in it, but that doesn't mean that they have any experience in it. And so visual programming is more accessible. I would... And I do see, for example, the DLL thing in the game where it looks like we get to do a little bit more of our own custom work, um, but still in the visual programming style. I, I would, I agree, I would like to see code in the game at least um, as like an optional thing. You know, like you can you can go to the uh, the decision tree node uh, and you can see what's running in the background or you can even maybe edit it or something like that. Um, you can program your own RNG in a node or something, right? Something like that would be a wonderful feature to have. But yes, for someone with zero coding experience, it's more accessible. And I do think that this is aimed for, again, uh, not um, young, young learners, but, you know, definitely getting ready for their secondary education kind of learners, right? Um. Partheo, I can't speak to the value of the software as a learning tool, but as a programming game, it is not very good. The rules of the game rely on change, which is a ri which is ridiculous in a game about what the rules. The rules the game relies on. Oh, the rules that the game relies on change, which is ridiculous in a game about programming. Why? The UI is bad and confusing. No, uh, it was a bit confusing. It's kind of it's kind of a, a fucking hot mess here with the uh, with all of this shit. Um, I guess I could agree with that. Um, but I mean, it's not enough for me. To, it's not enough to turn me off. I was still able to figure my way around. Um, uh, the UI is bad and confusing, which is also ironic for a programming game. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I gotta stop you right there, Partheo. The UI is bad and confusing, which is also ironic for a programming game. That sentence alone tells me that 
you are probably not a programmer professionally because I'm sorry, but programmers are the absolute fucking worst at UI. That's why there are people whose entire job is dedicated to user experience because programmers are fucking bad at when the rubber meets the road and there's human technology interaction. They are bad at it. They just are. Okay, you spend all your time looking at code, trying to get shit to work. The last thing that you're going to be able to get right is going to be that last mile type thing where you have to figure out how a person who knows nothing about your program is going to interact with it. Okay, so no, it's not ironic for a programming game. It's ironic for a game, which is a program, which by design is about human technology interaction. That much I'll give you, and maybe that's what you meant to say. But no, it's not ironic that a game about programming for potential programmers has bad UI. Then there's the bizarre inclusion of the startup system, time and money management. Why? I didn't, I guess I did kind of have money management. It didn't really seem like the money was, was really, I mean, I guess I could have bought like, upgrades or something instead of a viking helmet for the cat which probably would have been a smarter way to go if i had planned to play the game anymore but uh uh no i i didn't really consider it to be onerous it kind of seemed like they were throwing money at me uh, at least within the amount of time i played which is only about an hour uh why the wannabe business sim segments completely break the flow and make no sense with the rest of the game I can't argue against that because I didn't really dip into those parts of the game, but I will say that probably they were added as a way to give the players some more variety and somewhere to spend their money and, you know, make plans and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you know, I guess it's maybe not for everybody. The programming mechanics tie themselves to real world concepts, but are so intensely abstracted to the point of being misleading. Mm, I mean, yeah, it wasn't like when I'm actually doing any any data analytics i guess but it depends on who it's for and i think it's fine for for the younger learners many of the rules on how nodes work feel arbitrary like cost or time uh yeah i agree with that it is it is an arbitrary uh, game mechanic but again as i mentioned before you have to have rules that's what gives the game meaning um well, why find a good solution when I can just upgrade my parts? Yeah, I didn't get to the upgrading parts, but I, I, I just the sound of it I don't like. You know, I, I, it doesn't seem like it's in the spirit of the game. Then there's the training, which you'd imagine would be a big part of the game about machine learning, but no is literally just a button press training. You press it and all the nodes get trained. Okay, I didn't see the part of the game, but I also agree that sounds kind of hinky. Um... Great puzzle game, teaches basics on machine learning, fun puzzle game, helps fine-tune your logic. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, seems like, you know, overall very positive. And with the negative uh, reviews that we had here, uh, I, I have to say I found a lot that I agree with. Um, but at the same time, for the right learner, for the right person, I still do think that this is an educational game. Uh, it's definitely not... Uh, for for really young kids, but for older learners, pre university training, um, I think it's probably just fine, and I, I would recommend this to those to those learners. Uh, plus, it's a fun puzzle game. I mean, even if you don't really like, um, uh, you don't really plan on doing anything and being a programmer or anything like that. This is still at its surface a pretty fun puzzle game. And I can see here on Steam that there's like other things that we get a chance to do with self driving cars and stuff. Uh, I can tell you that's pretty intriguing. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll tell you what. If, if anybody wants to see more of this game, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll play more of it. But as it stands, this is not the kind of thing I can use. And so I, I would otherwise move on to, to other titles and see if I can find something that uh, um, older students, university level students, would be able to take advantage of. But if anyone wants to see more, let me know, and I'll, I'll play some more. I have no problem with, uh, with this game. It's, at, 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 at its worst, it's a fun little puzzle game. So, all right, take care. See you on the next one.